G'day guys. Um, a question I often get asked from clients is, um, especially from people overseas, clients from overseas, UK, South Africa, India, China, um, places where they primarily build on a concrete foundation, is questions about a timber, a timber foundation or a pile foundation or a, a timber subfloor that we have here in New Zealand. Um, probably 50% of the homes throughout New Zealand use this flooring method um, or foundation method. Here's a good example. So we've built on a slope here on this, this house. Um, down here on the base, the roof will shine the camera down. On the main part of the house, there's a concrete foundation on the lower level. Now to the top level of the house, as we step up, you can see the top level subfloor comes through here and we've got a timber foundation. So we've got nice big, I think they're 150 by 150 posts, H5 treated. So that's, they can be in the water and the ground for as long as you want, they're treated, they're never going to rot. So they're buried very deep in the ground. You can see right through, we've got a whole um, lot of those timber piles. And then on top, we have what we call bearers, which are these here. So these bearers and then floor joists. Now, that forms the floor structure and everything sort of sits on top of these piles. Now, um, sometimes there's some concern for people um, who don't know about timber subfloors and they might have some concern that it's um, not as good as concrete or some way inferior. It's not, it's actually really good. Um, it's good because it lets good airflow get under the house. Um, this will be insulated. So you can see here they've got um, building wrap or sizolation paper which is the silver paper, so that forms a membrane. And then we've got our, our floor under here. Before this house is finished, there will be insulation put up, so either bats or polystyrene, um, x pole style insulation will get put up in here. Um, so you've got a, a thermal blanket under the floor as well. So yeah, really, really good, nothing wrong with it. And as you can see, one of the benefits of it is that you get a lot of storage under the house. So. All the space, this, this will be accessed um, through a door on the side of the house. So you actually utilize the space under the floor as a um, as another storage room. Everyone's always wanting more storage. So yeah, I always I always look at a timber subfloor as a, as a bonus because you buy yourself so much storage under the house. So that just tells you a little bit about a timber subfloor. Cheers.